Hello, welcome back to Tame Mystical Mermaid Light. This is a pick a card reading on channeled messages from your true love. So, we have two options today. We have this bill, option one. And we have this lay, option two. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Option one, channel messages from your true love. We're gonna get some cards as well. I'm already hearing an announcement. Your soulmate would like to announce something to you. Obviously, we're getting channel messages, hearing that they really want your attention. I'm hearing, um, <laughs> I'm not getting clingy, but I think they're going to do funny things to grab your attention. They're going to make you laugh. <laughs> they can be quite pouty when they want to be, is what I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah, this is a faded connection. You have the fates. How beautiful is that? This person's really great at solving conflict, is what I'm hearing. Let's see. Change messages from your true love. Yeah. Holy Spirit, please use me as divine channel for the most pure soul of night. What does option one's true love want them to know? I'm just gonna get all your cards out, you guys, and then I'm going to get into the message. Not really quickly. This person's fast paced. Your true love. Oh gosh. It could be a fire sign. Or an air sign. Okay. Alright. So let's start. So we have the fates. We have Chamber of the Violet Flame, Karmic Release, Radical Transformation. Definitely soul contract. We have altitude. So this here. Let's set the veil to the side. We have Father Christmas 13, which breaks down to four. How did they get here? Oh, how did thy get there? Why I keep saying that? How did thy get here? Lost perhaps. No worries at all. Gather yourself and clear the frost for the good still lives in you, dear. Hmm. The good still lives in you, dear. Interesting. We have confidence. Okay. We have activation, spirit guardian of spring. So something could be occurring in spring. Okay. And then we have access to the situation. Oh, what did I say? Access to the situation. Wow. I'm hearing you have access to the situation. Okay, so we have assess the situation. Back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. That's assess the situation. All right. Okay. Clear message. Your true love. <laughs> they have a sense of humor. <laughs> They're quite fast paced. They want you to know that. Um, I feel like this person may travel a lot. I'm getting someone who's quite used to flying. Um, they don't get thrown off by going to different states and possibly e even different countries. I'm hearing their body is quite adaptable, um, quite flexible. That's something you guys needed to know. 
person is very warm and welcoming, but they have a mischievous vibe to them. And they want you to know that. Like, they're playful and they're mischievous. What they're letting you know is that you guys have a soul contract. So, they're saying that you guys signed a soul contract down here. They're saying that, um, to come down here together. They're saying that the path won't be easy. There's no such thing as a perfect love. There's no such thing as, you know, a, I don't want to say fairy tale um, because I do believe that we all have our own stories. But what he, oh, he, okay. I was trying to keep a gender off of there, but for a lot of you, this will be a, 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 a masculine energy or a male. Um, this energy, what they're trying to say, this is, a, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, this is a man, okay? This is a man. They're telling me no to say it. This is a man. Um, straight up, because he has this approach and I can see him clearly. Um, he's sitting on a couch and he's grinning and laughing and joking. And he's spontaneous. He's kind of quirky, but he's mischievous in a way. He gets a kick out of things. And he may actually like to press your buttons just to get you riled up. Um, very confident. Yet, when it comes to business, he knows how to get down to business. And he wants you to know that. He's willing to solve conflicts. He's not going to be one to run away from conflicts. You guys might have a different love language is what he's saying, but he's not the one to run away from conflicts. He's saying that you're, you're destined to meet each other. You know, there's no missing him. He wants you to know that you're not going to miss him. You're, you know, if you miss going to a party or you miss the invitation, you're not going to miss him. What's meant to be will be. You guys will meet up in divine timing. You have not lost out on love. And he wants you to know that. There's a certain activation that you both need to go through is what he's saying. Still a lot of um, releasing. I'm hearing that has to come. I'm hearing it has to do with your ancestors. That's what he's saying. It has to do with both of you. The way you were brought up. The way your parents were brought up. He's saying something specifically about his grandparents is significant for him or for this person. This person likes fresh air. He's saying something about fresh air, greenery, fresh water. He may like campfires because they're showing me the fire and they're showing me the trees. They may have liked camping or going to a cabin. Very outdoorsy. Strong fire sign, air sign. I'm getting the chills as I'm saying that. They're strongly guided and protected. In fact, this could be what they're trying to tell you. is They have a grandparent that's a guide or grandparents that are guides to them. So I'm getting that their grandparents were together for a very long time, possibly all the way until their passing, if his grandparents have passed. And I, I am getting that at least one has passed, and it affects him very much deeply. But this is faded. Your person, they're saying that they may have been wild. They're saying they were wild back in the day. They were, you know, in and out. But the truth is, they've always wanted a love that was like their grandparents. They're saying there's something in your life um, there that you need to address when it comes to the way you see love, when it comes to the way you see yourself. They're saying there's no rushing, there's no control we truly have no control of the situation the only control you have is to focus on loving yourself and healing yourself and healing is a process there is no deadline on healing it's continuous so he's really wanting you to take your time um his higher self is saying that there is a situation that you need to kind of slow down and pay close attention to before you make a dramatic move. So his higher self is coming through and saying that you shouldn't make a, a dramatic move. There's something that you need to slow down and process, evaluate, you know, go over, 
plans, go over documents or whatever this decision is before you make it. So he's saying be confident in your decisions, but strategize. Go over it thoroughly before you make the decision. Because if you go over it thoroughly, it's going to give you the confidence that you need and you're going to know that you made the right decision. I don't know what that's about. Um, it could be different for a lot of you. But I am getting, um, he keeps saying this, it's, it's faded. He keeps showing me this card, it's faded. And you're both active, going through activations and changes. St. Germain, Lady Portia, the higher council. This is, is very strong. You guys are going through a lot of um, healing, a lot of, a lot of upgrades. A lot of ascensions. I'm hearing ascension symptoms. And actually, your person, your true love, is saying that he has a lot of sinus issues. And um, well, he thought it was sinus issues. So that's kind of coming through. <laughs> that's so random, but that's what's coming through. Your um your person's used to as he's saying something about climate change, but he something about the environment is very important to him. But um, he's seeing that he's adaptable. He's really flexible and adaptable when it comes to environments. And he's eco-friendly. That is just so random. But that's what I'm hearing, eco-friendly. Okay, what is, what is option one's true love want them to know? One card at a time, please. You so you will reap. That's what I just heard. Nympha Cups, okay. I just heard I got a lot of love to give to you, woman. That's what I just heard. Got a lot of love to give. Mm -hmm. Universe. So you're... <laughs> he's saying that you're, you guys are going to have ch cheesy pickup lines for each other. And he's willing to watch the notebook with you. Specifically the notebook. I think something about it reminds him of his grandparents. Something about that movie. He travels a lot. There's something about travel here. Um, he wants to travel with you. Seeing something about starting a new life. We could adventure. We could go different places. You don't have to stay in one place. Very resilient. Very strong. Very independent. Like he's been through a lot. Didn't quite know where to place his love when he was a child. I feel like he's gained something from his childhood though. His grandparents may have left him something is what I'm hearing. I don't know if it's a family business. Or a home or some type of gift. It could be like a watch or um, something that's really symbolic for this person. It's sentimental. And this person isn't very sentimental. So that's how you know it's important. Um, because this person isn't very... I'm telling you, they're adaptable and they're flexible. That's what he keeps saying. I'm, I'm flexible. I'm adaptable. Um, quick to get up and go. But there's something that he has that's from his grandparents that is very important to him. It's a material possession, some a belonging. Yeah, and for some of you, it could even be like as simple as like a, a, a letter or a card. But I feel like this is a gift. It, it could be like a watch or a necklace, something like that, or something bigger that belonged to his grandparents. He's... Willing to give equally. That's what he's saying. He said it's all about balance. It's all about balance. It's always going to be about balance. Temperance. And he's willing to be patient with you. He said I'm not the most patient person, but I'm willing to be patient with you. Okay. <laughs> he keeps showing me that fish and he's saying he likes to fish. Very um, action oriented. Two of Wands. He's a go getter. He's saying, "I'm I, I'm a go getter. I will go and handle it." Something with building, construction, architecture. 
Um, he said he likes to get his hands dirty, not in a bad way, but he likes physical um, like labor. He likes to actually pick up things. <laughs> and he showed me like a corny scene of like someone chopping wood. Um, actually, the scene that they're now showing me is from The Proposal with Ryan Reynolds and Sandra Bullock. It's, um, it's that. It's that. It's, it's funny. He has a sense of humor. Um, chance. I'm here. He wants you to take a chance on him. Let's take a chance on each other. Even though you've been hurt in the past, even though he's been hurt in the past, he's saying, let's take a chance on each other. Let's move forward. We can heal. We can do this. It's like, you do you, I'll do me. We come together and we'll be there as support for each other. I'm hearing you're my best friend. That song, you're my best friend. So they um, they want to be friends with you. There's something about... A friendship is what builds a solid relationship. It's something that's so important. If you don't have it, it won't work. And you need to know that. And that's what he's saying. King of Wands. Didn't I say that? Leo Sagittarius Aries. Very sharp at communication. I'm hearing I'm straight shooter. If they need to nip shit in the bud, they will. They're trying, he's saying he's trying to get into manifestation more, trying to meditate more. He's working on his spiritual, um, spirituality. I'm hearing specifically for a lot of you, he was raised Catholic. This, this guy was raised Catholic. Yeah, the person was raised Catholic. Um, I'm not sure if he still follows all the tradition. He says somewhat, somewhat. He does light a candle for his grandparents. There's something so powerful about his grandparents here, you guys. I'm hearing radiant flowers. Sunflowers, blue. I don't know why he's now playing the Lana Del Rey song. Um, I think it's Ride He's that, that I'm hearing. Violets and purples, yellows and golds. It's very royal. Telepathic communication, crown chakra activation. So you guys could be connecting with the crown chakra. They're saying something about oranges, lilies, daisies. So this person may... They're saying something about landscaping in a garden i don't know if they would like to see you in a garden but they would like to um i'm here they know they would like to create a garden for you like actually um like design a layout for you so this person could be into some type of design something with um properties, building, landscaping, something like that. Contract. So there's something that they do that's very creative. If they, But once again, they like to get their hands there. They keep saying that. They'll be patient with you is what they're saying. But in every other area, they're like, okay, let's get the show on the road. That's what I'm hearing. Let's get the show on the road. They're very confident. Like I said, they're going to love to communicate with you. But they're being honest with you and saying that they have a tendency to not back down. So you guys may bump heads is what he's saying. You see, we're definitely going to bump heads, but it's going to be hot. That's what I just heard. It's going to be hot until it's not. So <laughs> um, he definitely has a sense of humor here. I'm picking up... Um, um, whomever I'm picking up on, he has a very strong sense of humor. Um, and he's admitting that it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be worth it. It's definitely going to be worth it. So he's hoping that you're willing to take a chance on him because he's willing to take a chance on you. And I do feel that this is someone that wants something for the long run. And I'm I'm actually getting a vision of him like nodding his head. Like most definitely want something for the long run. 
I'm hearing him say he wants you to get back to the basics, the things that you love to do when you were a kid. There's a need for you to feel comfortable and calm again. It's a need for you to get in balance is what um, he's coming across to say that you have um, spirit guides that are bringing you all together. And he did say you all. So you can, there he says, leave that up to your imagination, who all that could be. But um, I'm hearing something about God-given gift. Use your God-given gifts. I, I just heard him say, I would like to pray for you and pray with you. So I'm not, I, he's not, I don't know if this person's religious completely. They may have been brought up religious, but um, he's saying he's craving an intimate bond, a bond that will last forever, a bond that's long lasting. He craves simplicity, even though he likes to get up and go so much, he craves the simplicity. Something that you can come home to. Someone that you can come home to. And he's saying your dating life will be fun. It'll be full of activities and adventures and excitement. He's saying that he's really going to push you to believe in yourself. There's no hesitating when he's around. Is what he's saying. I'm here in full beast mode. He works out is what he's saying. So he's going to help you to embrace your conf more of a confidence. Help you to manifest the things you want in life is what he's saying. Okay. So you guys are both going through a spiritual activation is what he wants you to know. He, he's saying something. Once again, he keeps saying, take your time making any decisions, especially if it's big. He said, take your time and follow your heart. Don't feel rushed to do anything. Because everything is faded. Everything will happen in divine timing. There's something so important about spring for you. He's saying something about seasonal depression. Now, I mentioned this in another of my pick a card readings, but I'm actually hearing him say seasonal depression so it could be the fact that when spring comes he's kind of saying that you'll feel much like this you'll feel much better like the light is coming out it's shining again he said he's going to come in and warm you up in many ways so your person is very confident he's funny He's saying, I'm articulate, <laughs> I'm confident, I'm bold, I'm courageous. Um, your person is saying that he's done something crazy before. Like um, he's either jumped off of a um, off of a cliff. He's done something that he's going to share with you. And, I, and I'm hearing someone say, wow, like, okay. Like, is do I have a Tom Cruise on my hands? Like, this is someone who's willing to adventurous dare you know daring um something about skydiving they may have even been um interested in stunt work at some point they're actually showing me i forgot what it's called they're showing me um there's this i forgot what it's is it parkour there's something where you just jump freely and do all types of stuff that your person's adventurous and he wants you to know that you guys are going to do a lot of celebration but the friendship is really important so you guys can get to know each other and then level things up so um he's saying he's polite and he's a gentleman when he needs to be so i'm here you can say we could have took it farther we're not going to take it farther because <laughs> it's not one of those readings so that's what I have for your person. Um, they're a gift giver. They keep showing me this card. They, I'm, I really do feel they want to be a father. That that um, oh yep, he's saying that that um, that family life is something he's starting to crave more and more now that he's older. 
In fact, I he's either going to be the same age as you or he's going to be older than you, a bit older. And he said a bit more mature. So that's what I'm getting from your person, you guys. Okay, your true love. And what I mean by true love is who God, the divine, the universe has that ultimate soulmate. Because we have many of soulmates. But the one who's, if you reach that frequency, if you guys align, will be the one that you could spend possibly your whole life with. So this one is fun and he's very excited. So that's beautiful. But I'm going to ring this bell. If you guys like that reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And we're moving on. Whoa. Okay, hold on, you guys. I hope you're still here. I'm gonna have to leave a message, um, a little note in the in the comment section. But he just said, and he's saying names now. He said something about Tony. Something. Tony, I'm hearing Anthony. And this is weird. It's like a mixture of Denzel and, and I'm hearing Denzel, but I'm hearing Enzel, Anzel, or something like that. 45, 49 could be significant numbers. Blue, Tuscan, Raven, Homers. I don't know something about Homer or Homers. I'm seeing via vehicle. He's saying something about Vietnam. Saying something about the military. In fact, he's saying the charm. Okay, we're going to listen to whomever this is because they didn't go away when I was doing the bell. So I feel like that was definitely meant. Let's see. Very strong energy. Let's see. I think his grandfather was in the military, which would make sense if he's from the States. Hold on, you guys. This flew out. The stag. The deer. How ironic. I'm hearing he, him say he can pull his weight. Let's see what's going on. Can we get some initials? Some initials. QT. I just heard QT. QT. I think your person likes football, sweets. We have the flamingo for balance, B. I just heard Benny and Brad, Benny and the Jets, okay. I, I'm hearing Bad by Michael Jackson. I don't know if that, that song might be significant for your person. Something about a talent show is significant from their past. We have the elephant. Family is important. They're definitely someone who takes control of their life. I mean, they have a, their hands on the wheel of their life, okay? We have the reef here. So Christmas could be symbolic for them, significant for them. They may like the holidays a lot. The holidays are big for um, his family is what is what he's saying. He travels a lot. That's what you need to know. Fifty nine ninety five. We have music notes. There might be a specific type of um, music that he loves the most. Okay, this is wild. I didn't expect this. I heard classical music for some. I'm hearing big band. We have Red Rose. Very romantic. He's going to bring you flowers. We have another star. I'm hearing you both. I'm hearing shine bright like a diamond. You both are going to shine together. I'm hearing you compliment each other. So your appearance, I'm hearing your height. There's something about your, your appearance with each other is going to compliment each other. Yep, this is definitely your true love because this is my true love, my soulmate um, key. Cherries, a new beginning. Totally new. Regeneration, star. So we have starfish. We have yeah, this person definitely came from some type of um, religion. I think it's Catholic. It's saying you have the key to his heart. Something with flowers again. The swan. The notebook. There's something about swans for him. We have, I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. 
see there's an ancestor here that he truly i'm telling you really affected his life i'm hearing him say i wish you could have met him kind peace free true brave strong happy thankful compassionate i'm hearing that he has tattoos we have another key with the heart the woods that's what he's saying something about the woods peaches you see where that could go right I'm getting that he may like um dogs, is what I'm hearing. He may like animals. I'm hearing him say that he could be a little rough um, when playing. But there's something about um sweets. I'm hearing the song um Partition by Beyonce. He liked to call me peaches when we get this nasty. Yeah, that. He was the type that would get a truck or a van just for you guys to drive out and look at the stars. Aquarius. The star. Friendly. So he's very friendly. Very unique. Has a unique taste in music is what I'm hearing. That'll throw people. I don't know why I'm hearing Cake by the Ocean. What's, I forgot who sings that. So we have B. That's the only initials we have. I'm hearing James. I'm hearing, is there someone by the name James Blake? James, I'm hearing Derek. James Derek. I love you to the moon and back. Yeah, those cheesy pickup lines. Four leaf clover. They made like beer is what I'm getting. Capricorn. And we have ambitious. This person's very ambitious. Okay. So there's a past on Ancestor that's trying to help um, bring you two together. And I definitely feel like it's on his side mostly. Okay. So, wow. That's what I have for you guys. Option one. I hope you stayed. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. But we're going to move on to option two. Option two, you had... The sleigh. Hold on, let's ring the bell. Or, or chimes. <laughs> let's ring the chimes. Give me a second, you guys. I want to make sure that I'm getting clear. This is a totally different energy. I'm getting um, someone who's very calm. I, I, I don't know why I'm hearing stern. I'm not, I don't, I didn't want to say stern, but I'm hearing someone who's really, I'm hearing them say stern though. The, I'm seeing someone sitting down across at a table, across from me, like at a table and they breathed in deeply. They had a deep sigh. And they're very, um, I don't want to say reserved, but they're relaxed. They're really relaxed. They're an observer. This person could have Scorpio in their chart. There's someone who watches things. They pick up on everything is what I'm hearing. Okay. Holy Spirit, using his divine channel for the most pure, holy love and light. What is option two? Is true love want them to know? Whoa. Avenues. Yeah, I'm getting that. The table that they're sitting across. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, your person is very different. What I mean by that is, this is either a businessman, this is either an attorney, this is someone who has a, a job that makes them, how do I say, it it makes them sit down and really contemplate things and think about things. In fact, I think they can sometimes be quite busy um, with work. And that could end up being a downfall. He's saying that that was a downfall in his past relationships. He's saying that when he thinks about love, he sighs deeply. So something has occurred. He's not saying what has occurred but something has occurred in his past where he just 
it's like, oh God, here we go again. Like, here we go. Even though he knows it's not gonna, it's not gonna be that way per se with you, he knows that it's not gonna be perfect. And it's this person doesn't like the in between stages of um of getting to know someone. And, and what he's saying is he's not very fond of the dating process. <laughs> He, he's not fun he's not fond of that he's just he's more of a like let's, let's get to it like why are we um he doesn't really like small talk and he doesn't like um getting around the bush so he's saying he's very um observative he's alert he's aware and he's saying he's really good at um reading people so I don't know if he reads people for a, a, a living and I'm not getting like a psychic reader. I'm getting like someone who actually um, like maybe like someone in the FBI or in the government or um, someone who's in business, someone who can read people well or call their bluff. So still be an attorney or a detective. He's I don't think a detective, a detective. This is someone who does like conference meetings this is someone who who sits across the table and speaks to people that's the vibe i'm getting so i do feel that this person has money they may work in the city and they may drive far to go to home so for example if they live in like i'm here in york for some of you they may have um they may like drive to the suburbs like there's something about his his commute that's interesting. So he works in the city, but I'm not sure that his space. He's saying something about two homes. Now I don't know if that's gonna be for all of you, but um, of course I'm I'm trying to tap into one energy, and it's coming through very clear that this person is saying they have two homes. They have a loft and they have a home. And he's saying his loft is easier because it's closer to his business. I don't know if this is in the same place. He embraces peace. He loves peace. His peace is what matters to him the most. He does care about fertility, if you know what I mean. Okay. His peace matters the most is what he's saying. And he's saying the city isn't always peaceful. So it's like after he does all of that work, he likes to retreat back into his own cave. Like his... I don't know why he showed me Batman. He may he may like Batman. Um, that vibe. What is this? Saturn. Oh, okay. So discipline, respect, responsibility, reality, boundaries. The wise, the guardian. He's very wise. In fact, I'm not getting a um super young energy here. We have Leo. Follow your heart. Create. Express yourself. Shine. This person's definitely in the leadership position. Um, I'm, I'm not getting anyone like. I'm not getting anyone in their mid-20s. This would be at least 30 and up. I, I would even go higher. That would I would say at least 35 and up. This this um this person seems to be more established and a bit more experienced in a way, is what they're saying. They're very quiet. Like I'm trying to get it's like they're giving me information, but they're not really talking. Does that make sense? Sometimes I can pick up on the energy that's being given when I channel certain souls or certain people. He's just sitting there and it, it's actually a little intimidating. So it's like he's sexy, but he's he has an intimidating look to him. And that might throw you. You may not be able to read him. And he's saying, oh, no, she won't be able to read me. Whoa, I think he gets a kick out of that. It's a good poker face. In fact, I do feel he's saying blackjack. So he, he does play games. He does have a playful approach to him. And when he plays, he's very competitive. But he's not a sore loser. But it's hard to pinpoint what he's saying. It's hard for you to pinpoint how I'm feeling in the moment. And he's quite intimidating. For some of you, he may have some type of, um, this is not for all of you. 
but I'm hearing something about Italian background or he likes mob movies. There's something with that that's significant that's really coming out. Um, he says he's showing me Robert De Niro. That could be a favorite actor. But oh, he's saying this how stoic he is. Think of Robert De Niro in um in Goodfellas. Very um, it's like a quiet threat, but he's saying he's not he's not threatening, he's not crazy, or um or he's not um <laughs> he's saying he's not vindictive and he won't be singing Joe House Rock. That's what he just said. And he showed me a vision of Elvis. So, okay. So he's not a criminal. Oh, wow. He's saying that something about he just put guys like that away. So that's wild because I'm seeing him at a conference table and I didn't, and I took that back when I heard detective. But um, for some of you, it's a detective. And for some of you, it's someone who's, owns a big company oh co oh ceo hold on so he owns a corporation that doesn't make sense hold on real quick you guys this person could have created some type of technology or something that is used in law i don't i don't that that's strange it's like he's he's doing something and if he is in law it's something big like it's not a small because i'm strongly not getting that but he's like i help put guys like that away so i don't understand that he's not clearing that up for me so i don't know what he's saying um about that he's not saying anything look we have putter platter Plan ahead, keep silent in your past desire. No eyes or ears shall see you coming, a well-deserved reveal. See, silent, mysterious, sneaky. That's his energy. Not in a bad way, he's just not very upfront. Until he knows you, and that's what he's saying. He's saying not everything is meant to be known right away. This person is going to have you on your toes because he's not, he's not, revealing much candle magic finger the spine and caress thy lips light the spell spilling from your grip they're playing no angel by beyonce put those candles on the bed no need for the spell stop acting so strange just do as i tell this person's a dom this is a dom It's almost like they don't want me to know what they do for a living. But I am seeing them sitting like, on, it, it looks more like a business. Like a conference table. Like they're planning something. This has to be an attorney. This has to be some type of big shot attorney or something like that. Or it has to be. Or they may have several businesses. Um... Yeah, this they they've got something. So, I'm hearing them say they came from money. But they weren't spoiled. He's saying they weren't a spoiled rich kid, but they did come from money. But he's down to earth. He's is what he's saying. So, there may be some fam there may be some type of business that's already in the family or something we have the only thing that is real is love shift your focus back to love all you need is love he has a big family and he wants a child that fertility card is really standing out in my head he wants he wants children express love through gifts a small token of love can convey great appreciation. And I feel that that is his love, that is his love language. Because he's not that expressive is what he's saying. He's more of a go-getter. You handle things, get things done. And that might be your 
your thing with each other where you're like wanting him to express how he feels more. He's saying something about satin blue, satin blue, um, navy, navy sheets. He's showing me um his bedding is 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 navy. It's like silk, like um navy, blue interior. He has a nice car. He's saying something about he has a nice car. He makes wise investments, is what I'm what I'm hearing. And he likes quality products. And he's a sucker for kids. That's when you're going to see him um, lighten up. Okay. Oh. Eight of Swords. He overworks. He's saying that sometimes he feels trapped in his work. Like there's not enough time to get things done. There's something that he's trying to reach is what he's saying. There's a certain goal. Something that he's trying to do. So what he's saying is he apologizes is if he's not there all the time. So he's saying that you're going to have to be independent. Four of Wands. You're going to be at, have to be okay with being at home most of the time. You know, with, with and he may be coming in late or he may have to travel or go certain places. I'm hearing that song, um, Avenue, by her. He's saying he has a lot of love. He's going to have a lot of love and affection for you. It's just that he... His love language is different. It's, he, you know, he was brought up more in a household where it was like more um, macho, um, like more, you know, kind of like a, I, I'm kind of hearing toxic masculinity to a certain extent, um, but it's just that they didn't, he's saying they didn't express emotions. He has siblings. They just didn't express, express feelings like that. It was different. The way they handle things is laughter in the kitchen, cooking, and gift giving. But the love is there. He's just not overly affectionate. And he looks serious most of the time. But he has a sharp sense of humor. And he's very witty when he wants to be. It's just it takes a while for him to let his guard down is what he's saying. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, he, he's saying that he loves a woman that's independent, a woman that can provide for herself and also take care of the home and take care of family if she needed to take care of it on her own, if he had to leave or if he had to go somewhere and would not complain about it. So this person isn't clingy, and I don't think they appreciate people that are clingy on them. And he wants you to know that, that. He's very much independent and he he's very much attracted to women who are independent as well, but have a, a nurturing effect to them. So this person is crazy. There's a different side to them that you're going to see. He's saying it, it's going to take months on in into the relationship for you to see even a glimpse of how warm he can be. And this is going to take patience. A lot of patience from each other. Um, Someone, he's saying someone did him wrong. Something, Someone stole something from him is what I'm hearing. And it left him feeling trapped. This person was around his family. And it hurt. So it's easier to focus on business, money, stability. But he knows that he wants a family. And he feels that time, the clock is ticking a bit. And he's saying that's not his excuse for finding love. It's just that he he's realizing that the money and everything, it really doesn't matter. He wants a family. So, and he's very firm about that now. Very strong. Very wise, well-spoken, 
well versed. He says he knows another language. He's bilingual. The Empress, see? He's looking for someone to be the mother of his children. He wants children. If you don't want children, you're going to have to say this up front. Because um, he's saying that he wants a family. He wants to leave a legacy. He wants to leave something behind his children. He wants to experience what it's like to, to be a parent. He may have lost someone or something is what I'm hearing. Um, King of Swords. Yeah. Very intellectual, very intelligent, straight shooter, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo is out here. wise very intelligent you guys very wise but his work really consumes him but he wants someone who would be able to take care of all of this the home front the space saying something about fight to survive Someone in his family had an illness. There's a feminine figure that he's extremely close to in his family. And he wants to introduce you to her. Her opinion does matter. So this could be a mother. This could be a sister. It could be an aunt. It could be even a grandmother. But there's someone, um, a feminine figure, that is very important to him. Um, I'm hearing that some big girls don't cry, and but he, he says, I do cry. Just not something that you go, you know, around sharing, you know, oh, you know, I, the last time I cried, it was about this. He has like a sense of, um, it, it's weird. It's like a dry sense of humor. It, it's a different, it's. That's one of the ways you're going to know this person's for you. You're going, when you meet them, they, I feel that they're going to be different from you. But it's something within the eyes where they're going to draw you in. And I feel that you're going to be intimidated a bit. Like, okay, I can't tell if this person likes me or not. They do like you. And he, he is going to make the first move. In fact, I'm hearing something about when the night is over, I'm... I'm going to make some type of move and I'm getting someone being shocked. So you may meet this person at an event is what I'm hearing. He's saying you guys are going to meet at an event or some type of gathering. It could even be a business party, some type of celebration, um, but you're going to meet. And I'm hearing you may be like, I can't tell if this person likes me or not. Like it's strange, but then before they leave, they're either going to leave a message, they're going to leave a note or something. They're going to come up to you and then you're going to be like, oh, they do like me. They've actually been watching you the whole time. And in fact, this is the type of person that would have a private investigator look into you is what he's saying. He's the observer. Definitely has some Scorpio placements. Always 10 steps ahead is what I'm hearing. The moon. He wants to know what's hidden. Wants to know your secrets now before he invests time. The sun. You have the sun and the moon. Mask and feminine energy. This is definitely a soulmate. He's saying we're soulmates for sure. You're here to warm him up. And he's here to strengthen you. That's what I just heard. He, you're here to warm him up. Get him to feel more. To release his guard. And, he, and he's there to strengthen you, to kind of um, build you up a bit, to protect you in a way. To get you to speak, you know, be outspoken is what I'm hearing. So in a way, you guys are both going to feed off of each other. He loves feminine, um, very ultra feminine women. He'll like, he'll like to see you in a dress. Because he thinks it's so... 
I don't know why I just heard ethereal. Like, there's something, um, he likes time frames, time setting. Um, that might be a sign for you guys. He's saying something about movies. He likes vintage movies, old mobster movies, anything that's kind of dated has different time frames he likes vintage cars and sports cars luxury cars as well you guys are gonna come back whoa come back did you catch that you guys are gonna come back into each other's lives to give each other hope is what i'm hearing because he needs hope and there's something that you need that he can provide. It's like two puzzle pieces coming together and fitting perfectly. He's saying emerald, something about emerald. He's saying something about a ring or a necklace is going to be significant for you guys. He's going to have something custom made or something's designed a certain way. Inner earth, base chakra, strength, security, laying foundations. Boom. Security, strength. That root chakra, laying foundations. That's what they do. In fact, he mentioned two properties. I wouldn't be shocked if he's working on a third. He cares about that solid home to come back to. Akashic Records, clearing old stories, releasing past lives, freedom. You guys definitely had a past life together. Heart of Source, all in, mm, I can never pronounce this, all encompassing love. Unconditional acceptance, serenity. If you can accept his downfalls, he'll accept yours. I, I'm getting that you guys are just going to... I feel like it's going to be more of an energetic pool, really. I'm going to be honest. I feel that your spirit guides are bringing you guys together. Look, this is confirmation. Boom. Spirit guides, confirmation, great lessons, halls of learning. You guys are going to learn with each other. It's all a part of your soul contract. You guys are going to teach each other a lot. You're going to you're going to teach each other how to open up in different ways. He's going to teach you a lot. There's so much knowledge that he has. Um I do feel like he studied abroad or he's traveled abroad or maybe even lived in a different country for a certain amount of time. Something that he's wanting to share with you. Oh. Make time for self-love is something that he doesn't do, that he's going to learn from you. Last quarter moon in Libra. Full moon in Aries. Cool your emotions. This person's like cool, calm, and collected. You know how they say as cool as a cucumber. That's what I just heard. Open up to a change. Open up to change. As cool as a cucumber. He said there's more to be heard than to be said. And I just heard him say that's the type of man I am. So he's a very quiet, reserved person until you get to know him. He's saying he's loud around his family and friends because they know him. His profession may even call for him to be reserved. Purification, pine spirit, cleansing. He might live by a lot of trees or by snow. Look at that. The white trees. Then we have passage, standing stones. Yeah. It's a passageway. Like you guys are slowly moving towards this. Playful when he's with his family and friends. That's what he's saying. He's very playful. Stag spirit, leadership. Boom, that's him. Transmutation, the phoenix arising from the ashes. He's definitely been through something. He's just not saying what. There's something, and I feel like it has to do with an ex. But he's not getting into detail. It's like he doesn't want to go into detail. 
Like there's something that he's not wanting to really um, to share too much. There's something that was very hurtful and he wants you to know it was hurtful. And when, it, when he's ready, he's going to open up and tell you all about it. Um, then you'll have a better understanding why he's kind of closed off. You know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm hearing him say that um, it's possible that he was in a long... I, I am getting a long-term relationship with someone who was around his family. And I'm getting that either he, he, the woman he was with dealt with a miscarriage or she had an abortion. There's something along the lines of mistrust or something happening where... Um, seems like one person wanted one thing and the other didn't and um that's quite serious so he's kind of um cold night not really trusting of a lot of people and he's working on that so you both have some things to work on um in the meantime they're saying get a couple more charms i don't know why they want me to get more charms so let's see Oh, that's a lot of charms. We're not doing all of those. Hold on, you guys. Dom. Kitten. Yep. I just heard. Heart. It's a lot of love here, though. Don't get it twisted. That's what he's saying. Don't get it twisted. There's a lot of love. It's just, it's not... The most um, lovey-dovey, clingy, affectionate. Taurus. Boom. What does this say? Crazier. I think this is in a different language. But Taurus. Star. Soulmates. I'm hearing elk. Look up an elk. Elephant, ancestors, family. He's transforming. Slowly but surely. He's going to open up. That's what he's saying. He's going to open up. We have Ganesha here. Overcoming obstacles. Love and be loved. He's trying to let you in. There could be something about a child. A little boy. 90... Zero nine. Very wise. Holds a lot of information. In fact, people may come to him for his information, for his wisdom. And I do feel that you're going to make him smile. You're going to make him loosen up a bit more. Like loosen the tie. Relax. I'm hearing this person's really going to surprise you. Like... You're going to be thinking one way about them. And it's totally different. Something totally different. I'm hearing greatly intelligent is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing you're going to have him hooked. Okay. Circle on heart. Two hearts coming together to create something. He definitely wants children. Definitely wants children. He wants someone special. Someone different is what he's saying. And he likes wine. Likes alcohol. But not like beer. He may occasionally drink beer. But I'm getting someone who's more... Um, he knows about expensive wines. This one. Carnelian is symbolic here as well. Pyrite, gold, silver, platinum. He might wear a silver, uh, like a, not, no, they're saying a platinum band. There's something about platinum that, um, I don't, I don't know what, but something about platinum is symbolic for, um, this person. I'm hearing river. Something about a river runs deep. I just heard bank. I just heard Remy. 
Elise, Donald, Danielle Donovan, Karen, Michelle, Denise, Dia, Alyssa, Leah, Leah, Lissa, Alyssa. There's a lot of different names. These could be family members or people that may be around that might introduce you guys is what I'm hearing. There's something about a lot of people being around when you guys meet. This person's, in, their eyes are going to be quite intense. That's what's going to pull you in. Someone's going to introduce you to. You're going to be unsure if the person even liked you in general. But you're going to be so shocked to find out that they were watching you through the whole party or the whole event. And somehow they're going to make it known that they are interested. I'm feeling called to tell you that this is a good guy. He just needs to open up more. Like something, I'm telling you, it's just like a, you know, it's a pain that, you know, kind of causes someone to kind of retreat a bit until they know that they're, you know, safe. That's what I'm getting. I don't know, I just heard James Dean. So I don't know if they like motorcycles, if they're a James Dean fan, that's significant. They're saying something about, something about the name Brett. There's an actor or something about Brett. Um, Something old. There's something about movies and shows from the 70s and 60s, 50s, 60s, and 70s that are symbolic. So they may have a vintage taste there. Okay, this is going to sound really strange, but for this could be very specific, but I'm hearing something about him owning something that was either from a TV show or a movie set. This could be a car. This could be a motorcycle. It could be even like a figurine or a statue. There's something that this person owns that's from a show that was either used part of the set design, was a prop, or it was something in a show or movie. This person, like, a, they have an inner nerd or dork energy. There's specific things that they like. And when you get to know them, you'll see that. And that's when you'll see them warm up and open up a bit. And slowly and slowly, they'll open up more and more. They just want to make sure you're not playing them. That's all. They like coffee dates is what they're saying. Cozy, get nice. They like going out, wine tasting, wineries. They're playing Love on the Brain by Rihanna. Something about, um, they're showing me one of those modern homes. It has a lot of wood. Um, like dark wood and it's it's kind of squared it looks very modern this person would be into like they're i'm hearing simple elegant clean kind of a structured um look and I'm hearing their wardrobe kind of matches that as well. So a lot of like navy and darker colors, black, grays, dark, dark greens. Very sleek. This person is a huge gift giver. That's they, They're saying there's going to be gifts, a lot of romantic gestures, a lot of spontaneous um, things that they're going to do to show their love. 
there's something about them liking to put their hands in your in on your head like on your on your um scalp like running their hand through your hair that that might be the part where you start seeing oh they are affectionate okay just not overly affectionate and they're not really into public displays of affection unless really called for so that's what i'm hearing for you guys okay if you like this reading please feel free to um wow please feel free to share comment like and subscribe um i wish you guys all the best have a good one